are speaking about the developed country China, Japan, Germany and whatsoever. Are these countries multilingual? Are these countries having population like India where there are multiple people speaking in multiple different languages? Honorable Speaker Sir and the House, today's topic is imparting education in mother tongue should not be a barrier. Imparting education in mother tongue should not be a barrier for pursuing or achieving higher education. And my tragedy benchers, they bought, up, they bought up the bill saying that it is not a barrier. So I want to ask my tragedy benchers, Honorable Speaker Sir, if a classroom it consists of 60 students, is, is, it the, uh, is it compulsory for the teacher to learn all the 60 languages because he has to give the students, he has to, un that students has to understand the teacher and is it compulsory that a, student has to, a teacher has to learn all the 60 languages? We are living in a country with diverse languages and it is not possible for all the teachers over the country to learn all the languages. And forever, India has recognized only some languages which has its own manuscripts. One of my tragedy ventures even say, when we are speaking about the history, we should not forget the traumatic history of the Britishers because when the scenario, after that, the scenario got changed and now we, uh, they have imparted upon us the English education. One of my tragedy bunches even said about the Britishers languages. Then why is he wearing the Britishers outfit? How can he wear the Britishers outfit? Well, I want to quote a quotation which my tragedy bencher has quoted. Hum to aage na ja paenge sanam, tumko bhi nahi le jane denge. The national education policy, the Amit Shah government has brought up the national education policy which says that all the, uh, uh, there should be some institutions which will give uh, multilingual, which will give education in their mother tongue. So I know one uh, institution in India which is presently giving education in, the, in their mother tongue that is in Urdu, Maulana Azad National Urdu University, where the students has to take a 30 days English course to cope up after coming out from the institution to cope up with the outer world. This is what happening the scenario and think if it will be implemented in the whole country what will the students do okay they have learned the language by taking up the course but what about the vocabularies the mother tongue influences does not leave them and this bring this takes up them back and they cannot stand up in group to cope up with their friends because either of shame or they cannot pronounce the words properly so we can see the future of the country here let uh, my tragedy ventures, one of my tragedy ventures, Honorable Speaker Sir, he was speaking in complete Assamese, but he was using two languages. This is what he shows that we cannot give complete education in the mother tongue. Honorable Speaker Sir, the bill is going to bring a diverse, drastic underdevelopment in the country. And our government is bring, trying to bring this into the, for the people. We are speaking for the people. Here we are not representing ourselves. We are representing the whole country with crores and crores of people. So we have to think for them. We are not for our individuals. Please don't get selfish and please don't think of yourself and think for the betterment of the country. Thank you. Honorable Speaker, sir, I, I request you not to pass the bill and save our country from this diversified. Thank you so much.